Okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. And I decided, I mean, it's right after Christmas, and I haven't really uh, changed any of my babies for Christmas or anything, but I was looking at uh, this baby, and this is Griseldi, and she is the Diana kit by Olga Auer, and she's a since sold out kit. I actually love this baby. I'll show you a couple of her, some of her details. Uh, this is the first time I did freckles on a baby. So if you can see, I, um, she has freckles pretty much all over, all over her nose, her forehead, um, even here in the side of her cheeks as well. And I made her, her eyebrow like a little bit arched there. And um, I did uh, micro root her lashes. She's got very nice long lashes and they are curled up. I don't know if you can really see. I'll try to zoom them in a little bit more. That's as far as it'll go, but if you can see her lashes. I mean, they are in the blondy kind of color. And I did name her Griseldi and it is a German name. I was just very, very inspired by uh, uh, the craftsmanship of this, the, the kit. And this is actually the first Olga Hour. This one and Millie kit are the first Olga Hour kits I've ever made. And I don't know why I was waiting so long because these babies are absolutely gorgeous. So this is a vintage smocked uh, gown, as you see. And I did find this at a, um, an antique shop. And she is probably about about zero to three months size, and I'll uh, I'm gonna change her into a nice little outfit. And she is usually uh, the baby that has all the vintage wear. Um, I just love how she looks with them. So if you can see, and now these are I can't remember what year this baby was made, but um, I'll show you what I love about this baby. Take her out of this beautiful dress and you see there's like nice lacing. I just love like uh, finding these goodies. And I will be going back to that place to show. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry baby. Now I did put her in this uh, a diaper that's way too small so I'm gonna change that. But as you can see, I love, I think I really love the white bodies. Um, I really love them because sometimes, well, in this case, I didn't have a onesie that looked really good on her. And I think that having the white, especially for three quarter limbs, I feel like this is kind of a nice, uh, uh, it is kind of like a onesie in itself. So I really like it anyway. So we're gonna change her into a new diaper, more feminine diaper, I think, a little bit bigger. I feel like she's probably more closer to a three month old baby. Could be the way I decided to uh, make her and yes I know her hair is absolutely crazy I had it in a bonnet so it's kind of crazy but we'll fix her all up and uh, I'll show you how I do that in a second um, so I hope everybody's Christmas went well um, mine was very low-key we had family over to the house and we had roast roast beef um, turkey and then but by the time we got to the turkey, everybody was so stuffed, it was so good. So um, it was a great Christmas. Um, kids got some, uh, just some low key things and I didn't really get anything like in extravagance because I really want to save up for a new couch set. Like, you guys don't even understand this couch set, it needs to go. Uh, when you have six children and five of them are boys, um, yeah, furniture doesn't seem to really last as long. Like, look how cute that is. And I like the backdrop because I have like a lot of, for example, these smocked dresses, right? Like, even if I put a onesie underneath there, you would see like a marks, like she has, she has a shirt underneath, so it's kind of nice to uh, not have that. So, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this dress. I got this dress a few years ago, actually, at Old Navy. But I really love this, um, the fabric, and it's a really cute print. It's a very classic print. I feel like she's like more of my classic baby. <laughs> so let's see if this fits. I hope, hopefully it will. So I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. I'm looking forward to the 2019. Um, 
I don't know if many know, but uh, I am holding a, an event. We're gonna, I'm attending a doll show and also running it. So it's really exciting. It is the first one in Canada, and this is gonna be in London, Ontario. Super, super excited. And this is a, it's more of an artist and collector show. So um, there are some classes that if you are a reborn artist, you can take them, brush up your skills. You know, it's all, always important to learn from each other. This is one thing I really love about um, this artwork is that everybody I've ever met, um, like artists and collectors, have always been so supportive and very positive. And we all want to help each other. So I decided to run this um, show with a group of people that are very, very into um, independent artists and um, different kinds of dolls and such. So I partnered up with a few people and we decided to have this event um, to celebrate the industry. It's grown so much and changed so much. I started doing reborning in 2010, like practicing, and then I started, you know, really getting really serious into it by uh, 2011. And, but I've been a doll maker, wow. I'm gonna to totally age myself, but I've been a doll maker for over 25 years. I've uh, made clay dolls and um, all kinds of like fabric dolls. So yeah, so this seems a little bit bigger, but I think it's cute. I don't like clothes to be too tight because it's not as realistic as, except the onesie. <laughs> I love the onesies being tight. So anyway, I think this will be a little bit baggy, but that's okay. And um, I'm just gonna put socks on. I don't know. Socks will really go with this outfit. So maybe just leave her in bare feet. I don't know if you uh, collector slash artists uh, do this, but for me, I love to expose the fingers and the toes because you know you work really hard <laughs> on these. And for my display purposes, I find that everybody likes to see the detail. So I just leave them pretty much out unless I really love the outfit. But yeah, so this is her. This is Griselda. So we're go we're gonna do is work on her hair. And I'll teach you a little, I don't know if people know how to do this, but um, how to take care of this mop curly hair. And you know, it's a lot of people are very nervous when they do it because you don't want to pull the hair or pull, pull the curls out. But I used yearling hair and it's very, very wavy. And this is hence why you have all these curls. So as you can see, it is micro directionally rooted. So here's your swir swirl here. It is flattened from, <laughs> From the hat but we'll fix that in a second so what i use usually this is um uh water with a little bit of um conditioner in it and i like to dampen the hair all over because i find that when the hair is dry it could break easier so uh, to prevent it now it hasn't happened to me because i always you know brush it when it's uh when it's wet so now with brushes like this, it's um, it's mm, let me say, you got to be careful with brushes like this because uh, even though it feels soft, it really can grab the hair and pull it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a wide tooth comb, or even just a regular comb. Okay, so my comb must be downstairs. So I'm going to. So as long as you have like some kind of comb. Now, always start, just like your own hair and your baby's hair, always start at the bottom first. And then you work your way up. Because when you start from the top, um, you can start to pull the hair out with the curls, so. And being a person with curly hair, and anybody else who has curly hair, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And normally I would comb her hair and do everything. Uh, last like i'm doing now because you don't want to wreck the hair right and put the clothes on so what i like to do is you comb it on you see it's kind of flat and you're like what the heck <laughs> don't worry we're gonna fix that so and this is a little bit tedious so what i'm gonna do is i'll probably fast forward this but i'll show you exactly how i curl her hair now um there is this kit this hair care set that i picked up and it's I picked it up, it's called Reborn Effects, and it's the complete hair, ca hair, hi, I can't read words, hair care set. <laughs> and um, it has some really cool things in it. I'll show you 
all of them. And I've been trying this out for the last few weeks. So I'm just gonna let her a little bit air dry. So it comes with um, a few little products here. So um, it comes first with the styling mist, which is here. This is the hair styling mist. I don't know if you can see that. I know my lighting is awful, but anyways, it's a hair styling mist and it's alcohol free, sticky residue free. Um, doesn't damage the pink or the doll's hair. It can be easily brushed or washed out when needed and this can be applied to damp hair. And I would use this obviously for curling her hair, so this would probably be um, the last thing, kind of like hairspray, but not really. And then it also comes with a hair conditioner. And this one, it says it controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, stops dry hair breakage, adds shine, lightly spray onto damp hair, comb through. So again, this one would probably be doing the same thing as, um, as my water and conditioner. So it's just as mild as that. So again, this comes in that package as well. Those there. Okay, and then it comes also with a little bit of uh, shampoo. Some hair shampoo, it's just a little bottle. You don't need a lot of it because you know, this is kind of like baby's hair, so you don't need a whole bunch. Um, right, I, oops, I'm, her hair is made with mohair. So, okay, and then it also comes with a hair tonic. This creates the wet head reborn look. So I, I guess you could use this for like younger newborns. So you add like a little drop of this with it. You add a little drop of this and then um, it should take care of like, you know, like a more of a newborn hair and shorter hair, I'd imagine. But I think you could use it too if you want to make a little wet look to the baby. And it comes with this awesome brush. And I've showed this before, but it's a Reborn Effects bamboo handle brush. The bristles are super, super soft. So it also comes in this kit. So I've been trying this costs $15.99 there and you can order it on the McPherson website. So um, yeah, so I picked this up to try them out and see, you know, um, what these products would do. I haven't tried the shampoo. Oh yes, I did try the shampoo. I haven't tried the this one yet, so I'll let you know what that one is like. But definitely these ones, oh, they smell so good. So this one, as you can see, is a hair conditioner and detangle. Again, it says use these with wet hair or dampened hair. And grab like random things of hair. Of course, the smaller you get, the better it will be. The better the curls will be. And then you go with, and obviously go with the curl pattern. And it just takes patience, but I like doing this. I don't know, I'm a hair kind of gal. <laughs> so I do enjoy this. And I treat it like it's a hot roller, but it's not, it's, <laughs> it's just a marker. And I think that this marker is probably like the perfect size, it's about a pencil size, it's just like a these little curler super tips. And uh, I do bullet journaling, so I have a whole bunch of different colors, but I found that this was the easiest because it just slides, just can slide the marker right out. And again, like I, I just follow the curl pattern, so I feel like that makes it a lot easier for the curls to stick out. And then, you know, I'm sure that like, there's other ways, like you can do it another, curl it the other way around. But for me, I just follow where the curl is going and where it wants to go. I 
Kita suka lihat ya. Soalnya. Ini course, there's no rules. Just curl in here. <laughs> and just like your own hair, you know, like the, the smaller the amount of hair you get, the better the curl. You see that one is very cute. So I usually, you know, like I don't really spend as much time on the back of the head as I do on the front. As most of you, you know, or should, you know, when you have baby dolls and if you're a reborn collector, it's very important to have the front face look really cute right here, sorry. Very excited about spring, and if you guys want to come, it's fifteen dollars for uh, passes, and they will be mailed out on March because we're putting like a nice, cute little package together. So it's fifteen dollars Canadian, um, so that would be close to like maybe eight dollars American, and that's for the entire pass. That's a for a pass for the entire weekend. So that's Thursday to Saturday. And that's $15, otherwise it's $15 a day. So I highly recommend you get the passes. And if you want to take classes, uh, you guys can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, the website, I'll put it below, but it's called the IAC Doll Show. Very, very excited about it. Uh, we have a few people that will, well, Shanine Bean or uh, Twisted Beanstalk. She will be, she will have a course there for fantasy painting and also Dina Ennis and she is doing a uh, advanced reborn class. So I highly recommend you guys try those out. We also have Shelly Marie and she is also doing a class for air dry paint. And I use these air dry paints, holy cow, they're awesome. And I never thought that I would like an air dry because I thought that, you know, maybe Quality wouldn't be as good, but uh, I'm gonna do a comparison for you guys. I did make a, a Liam doll. It's in the McPherson store right now, but I made a Liam doll and I made it completely out of air dry paint. And um, the creator of the paint was so shocked. She was like, oh, I thought that was, I thought that was Genesis. I'm like, nope, that is all air dry. So I created, I also created my Betty doll with uh, air dry paint and I'll show her in the next couple of videos. I have to change her too. It's so hard when you have all these babies and then um, I get so distracted with life and you know like I love to change up my dolls too. So I'm taking this year, I plan on taking more time to devote to my house and my home life and um, the doll show of course. Check the links below and I will, um, I'll also put the link directly to vendors and there are contests as well. So we're going to be doing, and vendors are open to, you know, to enter the contest and very excited about that because there's a lot of people that, you know, it's, I feel like this industry, we need a little bit of fun. Like, yes, it's one thing to create our dolls for fun and sell them and whatnot, but I think it'd be kind of fun, like, you know, some friendly competition and really get to know each other and you know what kind of artists we are. So the whole reason I decided to do this was because of that, was because I wanted it to be more of a, a fun thing and more of a celebration of our artwork. So we, were, we are going to have Doll Artists of the Year for 2018, so get your dolls in, enter them. And uh, we did have some people, we do have, oh, uh, Myola Teddies is also one of our sponsors and she we will have some uh, of her toys that are really great for um for like you know when you're uh, displaying your reborn dolls or even selling them so cute or collecting them she's an adorable little toy oops she has adorable little toy animals that uh i know you guys would love so 
and we will have some of her special designs exclusively exclusively at the show so make sure you check that out so I think I like how her hair is what do you guys think and I did put some baby hair so we're gonna use this brush and I like to in order to do detailed hair work I like to spray it directly onto the brush so then it doesn't drip all over and she does have a little baby hair so we're gonna Out. And I'm usually not into like grumpy babies, but oh, there's just something about her that was just so freaking adorable. <laughs> I'm just trying to part her hair in a nice way. She's a very like, I don't know, like Annie, like orphan Annie kind of. So cute. This is Griseldi and she is ready to be put back on display. And I am, I think I'm just gonna leave her with some bare feet and make her look just adorable. So that is Griseldi. She's all changed up and ready to be back on display. So again, guys, thank you so much for joining. If you want to get try any of these uh, products, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mm, it smells so good. This smells amazing. So anyway, so she is ready to be back on display, and her curls are gonna hold. And yeah, so thanks, guys, for watching. And again, I'll leave those links below. I hope to meet all of you guys at the show. I'm so excited about it. So make sure you tell your friends and spread it around. And let's get the show started. I, I won't be entering any contests, but I will definitely be around and I'll be helping all the vendors, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure you check it out. Again, I'll link everything below. And check out all our social medias for IAC Doll Show as well. I'll link all that stuff below so it'll be nice and easy for you. And then until next time, I will talk to you later. Much love, guys, and have a fabulous day. Bye.